Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have leak code 416, partition equals subset sum. So given a non-empty array nums containing only positive integer, find if the array can be partitioned into two subsets such that the sum of uh, ele elements in both subsets is equal. So what that mean is the input in this situation and we can partition them become 115 and 11. So uh, separate them in two group and they add up equal to each other. So in this case, we cannot uh, add them up each other, then we turn false. And let's take a look at this question. So uh, we are gonna use, uh, try to simplify this question first. And we are looking at uh, splitting them uh, in two separate subset. So the total is sum, for example, total is sum. And then each of them sum up, it will be sum equal to two, if they can be divided by two, two. So the sum uh, for each subset will be some total sum divided by two. So now we have a condition. And we can just basically, after this uh, analysis, we just uh, transfer this problem into a small problem that we are uh, coming to here, the original array, and looking for uh, uh, numbers add up equal to sum divided by two. So that problem is become like this right now. So let's write some code in here. Uh, we just try to uh, add some, uh, what's that called? <laughs> Edge cases in here, sorry about that. Uh, equal to zero nums. Uh, Actually, uh, start from if num equal to zip no, or num stop playing equal to zero, then at that time we return false. Okay, like what we mentioned, first we get the sum first. So in sum equal to start of zero, then we have a for loop loop through the whole num and add those value integer in sum. So now sum is a total sum of the whole entire array. So if sum is odd, how was it called? Two equal to one, then we turn false. Why? Because uh, if two equal um, sub subset that they're the same, so equal, right? That means the subset time two would not be an odd number. So when the sum is odd number, that won't uh, divide equally. And that's the condition. And also, yes, uh, we will have divided sum equal to, um, let me see, sum divide equal to two. So what we're looking at is sum divided by two. So we're looking at the sum, which is target, is equal to sum, total sum divided by two. And we're gonna use DP to solve this problem. Separate in here. So now DP, uh, actually, <laughs> Boolean um, DP equal to new Boolean of, uh, we only need sum plus one, that much space. And we will have DP zero, side of group, true. So this is Boolean. So all of them are uh, false as a default. 
and for zero is the default number, it's always set to true. So if we don't pick any number, that's always true. So now we can, uh, let's go through this uh, example first and then we explain what that flow is. So now we loop through the whole entire nums and also loop through a j started with sum and j have to be bigger or equal to zero and j minus minus counting backward so it's like a so if j is bigger or equal to i then dp j equal to dpj or dpj minus i so now i'm i'm, I'm going to explain now and dp means um oh, let's see so cuz the current number could be equal to the current number or um the j is the total minus the current uh, integer right here. So if the problem is, uh, if you're looking for five and we see a five, then it's definitely correct because five minus five equal to zero because the base is zero right now. So now five is correct in here because five is total. It's a target. So now if you're looking for 10 as a target, since five is, is true because of this uh, period operation, and then we're looking at 10 as a target. So 10 is equal to 10, 10 is false as a default. Or 10 minus five, because we have five in here. Then, uh, so we're looking for DP5. DP5 in the period operation is already true. Then uh, we can see DP10 is also uh, true based on that situation. And at the end, we go to the end of the uh, DP, which is DP sum. Uh, we turn the truth or false from there. And I will try to write this situ uh, example right here. So now we create, since the total is 22 and the half of them is 11. So we need to look at this array and find any number combined equal to 11. Then, cool. So we start with zero, one. Please bear with me, it might take a while. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, <laughs> eleven. So we have this eleven number here, because because we set it as a boolean, so defa as default they all false. You can imagine they all false right now. And in this case, we make zero always true because zero is nothing right here. So um, we come to here, we're looking at, because um, starting from sum is, uh, uh, j is equal to sum. And if this situation, we check. If dp11, or dp11 minus one, because now currently i is equal to one, then check this one, if it's one. And if both of them are, are false, then fine. Then j will minus one. And check both of these are false, no, 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 and no. And keep going to one right here. So dp1 equal to dp1, which is false, or dpj is one right now, one minus 
curve when i is one, is one. So true, I mean, dp zero is true, then one is true. It's pretty uh, intuitive because if we're looking for a target, it's one, and we have one here, then sure, one is correct, right? And at that time, we change this false become true. At that case, you can keep looking at this for loop. You will see if we're looking at, I mean, we can see five. We, if we look through five right here, we see five is also true. Um, we also come to see if the target is six right now. Okay, we have one, it's true. Zero is true, five is true. So how about six? So DP six right here, six. Six is false, no good. And if six minus five equal to one is true, then six should be true. Then in the same thing, I mean, if we at five, you're looking at 11 right here. There's two way you can make it true, which is 11 itself minus 11, starting from sum. Sum is 11, and we have an 11 in this part. Then sh sure, 11 minus 11, 11, then true, because it's reached out, uh, becomes zero right now, the default case. It's true. And also you can find this right here, 11 um, minus five, then also we see six is also true. So there's two way you can make this um, uh, sum up to the sum. And that's how you solve this solution. And uh, sorry, I might take it so long to explain this one, but it's really intuitive just to make this uh, example right here. So now let's take a look at the code. So it's true. And it passed the cases. But the problem is in here, a small little not really optimized problem because we didn't use three, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. And another optimization for this one is try to save this T, which T zero to the hash map. Put this in hash map, put this in hash map. And after that, we found five and put those all truths in the hash map. Then we save a lot of space for this DP. And, and also time too. Um, that's it this for this solution. And um, if you have problem, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.